Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Sarah with Horny Town Home Baked Goods. And today we're going to talk about if you can actually be profitable with a baking business. So that's going to involve a lot of things, but the main thing we're going to focus on today is if you can be profitable with a sugar cookie business. So it all depends on what you make. If you're a cake decorator, you're obviously going to be charging more per item than cookies. So keep that all in mind and make sure that's relative and fits with your business. But I specialize in decorated sugar cookies made with royal icing. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And let's see, can you actually make money doing this? Let's dive in. So the first thing to consider is you need to consider your ingredients costs and your startup costs. Do you have the ability to have a business that is legal to work out of your home, you know, as a cottage baker? Do you have the equipment? Do you already have an oven you can use? Do you have baking pans that you can dedicate just to your business? That's what I do. Do you have you know, an area that you can actually decorate your cookies. You know, we don't live in a big house, but we have an area that is designated just for my cookies. So do you have that already? And if so, then that is a cost that you don't have to have up front. But if you don't have those items, if you have to rent out a space to be able to sell to other people, that is going to be a cost that you're going to have to factor in with your ingredients, your time, all of that as well. So keep in mind, do you have the necessary things to get started, like the equipment, or is that going to be an upfront purchase? Another thing to consider is the material cost. So cake cost is a great app to use and that will give you your ingredients cost, you know, and you can actually put in your wage that you want to make on there to see if you can make money. So remember that is one aspect of making money, but also your time is important and you can put your time in there. But I think it's important to remember that the more you do this, so the more you decorate cakes or the more you decorate cookies, usually the faster you're going to get, especially if you do a lot of the same techniques over and over again, you're going to get faster because you just develop those skills better and you learn your time management for those skills. So just because it may take someone who's been decorating cookies five years, maybe 30 minutes to do something, and it takes a new decorator two hours to do something, that more experienced baker should not be paid less just because it took them less time. They have the time and the skills and the years put into learning that to make it go faster. So don't cut, your don't cut yourself short just because you can do it fast now. You didn't do it fast at the beginning. That is skills you developed and you should be paid for your skills. So remember that when you're pricing your cookies. Another thing to remember is how you want to price your cookies. Do you want to price them per dozen? Do you want to have a minimum set amount to purchase? Like two dozen, some cookiers do that. Do you want to sell them per cookie if you do it at markets or things? Remember how you want to price your cookie because to me that depends a lot on the designs offered. So if I do a market or a pop-up or if I have a pre-sale, a lot of those designs are probably going to be a little bit less intricate or detailed than custom orders, right? Because I'm mass producing those to get a lot out and a lot made before the market or before the pre-sale or for the pre-sale after they have sold. And then, you know, for customs, some people have a minimum of a two dozen order. I don't have that, but I do have a tier system of, you know, my base price of regular size cookies is $50 and then it make, moves up from there. And you might want to add, you know, um, gold painting is more because you have to hand paint that on there every design, right? So that is more of your time, more of your money that's being taken away. So you should factor that in to the price of your cookies. You could also factor in, you know, the gold design if you need to use, um, purchase materials, like if you're doing parchment paper designs on there, if you have to purchase specific designs for that, if you have to purchase stencils for it, if you have to purchase an Eddie file for it, keep that in mind when you're purchasing these items to the price of your cookie. You don't necessarily want to charge that order more, but you want to be able to incorporate it into all orders so it's paid for and it's not going to be coming out of your pocket every time you have to buy a new cookie cutter or every time you have to buy a new stencil. You don't want to have to be paying that cost because then you're never going to make profit. So keep that in mind. Those extra things add up, but factor in, factor that into the price of your cookie. All right. The next thing I want to consider is the size of your cookie matter. So people say that it takes them just as long to decorate a mini cookie as it does a regular size cookie, which maybe it does, but you are using less dough. You're using less icing materials and you're using less coloring to color that icing, right? So that means your larger cookies are automatically going to cost more than your smaller cookies. So then maybe if you do decide to offer mini cookies, you can charge less to maybe meet that need in your community, but then you can set a two as a minimum for that. So let's say I charge $30 for my mini cookies, but if I wanted to, I could set a two as a minimum to make it be $60 to reach that one dozen 
price of my regular cookies, right? So factor in how it's best for your time, best for your business, and also going to fit that need in your community and still make money as a business because you are a business. And lastly, a thing to consider is sales tax where you say, I am not a tax expert. I do not claim to help people with their taxes, but keep that in mind when you're pricing your items and when you sell your items, because you will have to pay that back. You will have to pay that to the government. You are a business. So keep that in mind when you're saving your money, you're pricing, you have a business account for your business to pay for those taxes. So can you be profitable as a sugar cookie business? Yes, you can. You just have to charge the prices and charge your work. Remember, you are not a yard sale, okay? You are not a flea market. You are not negotiating your prices. You have your price. Stick to your price. Stick to your talent, your work. Know your worth and remember it because people will pay it. You just have to find your customers. And when you find your customers, if you have a high quality product, if you have great customer service, they will keep coming back to you. And that is how you will build your business. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Let me know down below if you think Sugar Cookie Business is can be profitable. Can you make a, do a business out of this? Can you have a job doing this? Let me know. Let me know if you below if you do it, if you have your own Sugar Cookie Business, or if you're looking to get started. And let me know some video ideas that you are interested in talking about so we can talk about them together. Bye guys.